God has raised this Jesus to life. And we are all witnesses of the facts. Exalted to the right hand of God. He has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit. And has poured out what you now see and hear. Now verse 36. Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Beloved, the biblical accounts of Acts chapter 2 is all about the coming of the Holy Spirit on the first century church on the day of Pentecost. And Apostle Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, intentionally spoke about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. And he projected Jesus as the Christ and the Lord. And so in verse 36, he said that, Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Therefore, let all nations of the world, all the continents of the world, be assured that the crucified Jesus is both the Lord and the Christ. I humbly ask will be upstanding if you can as we worship Jesus who is both the Lord and the Christ. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead.
For it was impossible for them to take you captive. Oh, Kabosha de Makataya, you died, was buried, but on the third day, you understand that from the dead, you said that you have power to lay down your life and have power to take it again. Oh, Jesus our Lord, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. Jesus is 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 Lord.
exalted one is he on the our Lord who paid the price of our redemption. I want to thank you and bless you that on the third day you resurrected from the dead because if you had not resurrected, our faith would have been futile. Mm. But thank God that you resurrected yes. and therefore our Christian love is built on your resurrection. We give you praise and bless your name because the Father has bestowed on you a name above every other name that at the mention of your name, Jesus. Every knee will bow of things in the heavens, things in this earth, and things under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Christ Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. We give you praise and worship you even now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Pastor. Chairman, it's time to celebrate the goodness of the Lord through songs of praise. On that note, I request the voice of Pentecost to come and lead us through a time of praise. You are the Lord that deserves our worship. You are the Lord we praise. All nations bow before you in worship. 
you're highly exalted can we all humbly rise you are the lord that deserves our word you are the lord we praise all nations bow before you in worship you're highly exalted oh glory oh glory hallelujah jesus, jesus is exalted Bow before you in worship. Say, Oh, glory! Jesus, Jesus is exalted. Hallelujah! You are the Lord that deserves. You are the Lord that deserves. You are the Lord we pray.
Possessing the nations for the Lord. As I said at the beginning of this meeting, this is the 45th session of the General Council meetings of the Church of Pentecost. And that's it had been the way we organize things in our church. We have gathered this evening for some this morning, others afternoon, others in the night. And maybe for some it's done. But we are gathered for one purpose. One, to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Being the highest decision body of the Church of Pentecost, the General Council has every cause to thank God. God the Lord has been gracious to us. As we celebrate him to want to give account of our stewardship, for how we handled the activities of the church in the past year. And then before we leave, we take some concrete decisions that will help us move forward and go and work to improve whatever the Lord has given unto us so that together we shall be able to possess the nations for the Lord. Hallelujah. In a moment, the general superintendent of Elim Pentecostal churches, and the person of Reverend Chris Cartwright, will bring us 
and fraternal greetings from Elim Pentecostal churches. But before he comes, once again, I want to invite the voice of Pentecost to come and take us through some theme songs. Then after that, we'll continue with another important item on the program.
Chairman, it's time for us to receive fraternal greetings from our brother, Reverend Chris Cartwright, who is the General Superintendent of Elim Pentecostal Churches. Reverend Chris. Thank you. It is my personal delight uh, this evening, along with Reverend David Campbell from our National Leadership Team, to join you in worship and thanksgiving. So on behalf of the national leadership team of the Elim Pentecostal Churches and the Elim Global Church Movement, I'm so honoured and privileged to bring our greetings to you on the occasion of the 45th session of the General Council meetings of the Church of Pentecost. Chairman Apostle Eric and General Secretary Apostle Alex and executive council members and all of the delegates joining from around the world in this extraordinary opportunity uh, through the digital pathways that are afforded to us. We continue to be inspired by your leadership and vision for the Church of Pentecost and the way the church continues to advance in mission around the world. We also thank God for the historic relationship that we have with Church of Pentecost. And we do indeed value the deep bonds of Christian love and partnership in the gospel, which exists between our fellowships. Well, I've enjoyed worshipping already in those new songs. Uh, we are praying for this historic general council as you take up, which is what is a wonderful theme, a glorious church revive to possess the nations. I am convinced that this focus and this theme comes directly for, from the Holy Spirit for such a time as this. We pray for this conference as you elect a new IMD and executive council member. Our prayers are also with those stepping out of national office. We share an appreciation for their service and thank God for fellowship with them over the years. And we know that God will lead you over your presidings as you appoint others to take on the work. We also pray for the general business as you seek not only to steward what uh, is already before you, but as God reveals to you new pathways and maybe even new fields of mission and outreach. We do recognize that we're living in extraordinary days, days of great challenge but also great kingdom opportunity. Even just a few years ago, we would not have believed that we are holding general council like this. But there's been an acceleration through the crisis that God is going to use for great kingdom advantage. The global pandemic has highlighted in all societies and cultures and every community our shared humanity and our absolute need for the Lord and the Spirit of God and the gospel of Jesus. In Matthew 24, brothers and sisters, you know Jesus made it clear to his disciples when they asked him about the future. He made it clear for the church in every age that tough times will come. Don't be afraid, he says. Don't be alarmed, for I am with you even in tough times. But he also said, and this is what we stand upon for this great theme, that there, in the midst of tough times, there will be harvest. These are harvest times, church, and also the times of the Spirit's outpouring. The church in every setting and context, every minister of the gospel, every lay leader in the church of Pentecost and in Elim, Every follower of Jesus Christ is being called not just to a post-pandemic adjustment, but to a profound and personal reset around our primary mission as disciples of Jesus Christ. As we respond afresh to God and as we humble ourselves and call upon him, he will renew his people and revive his church to reach the nations. I know that general counsel for you, like conference and summit for us, is a time when we expect much of God, but we also come personally. And I want to invite you to give yourself unreservedly over these days of counsel 
to fresh surrender, fresh commitment, expecting a personal revival that will lead you into fresh fruitfulness for, for the Lord. So we pray General Council will be a significant moment for the Church of Pentecost around the world as the Lord indeed revives you to possess the nations. May God mightily bless you. Thank you very much, Reverend Chris. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, our fathers and mothers, it's time for us to listen to the State of the Church address. And it's my singular honor and privilege to invite our dear brother, Apostle Eric Nyamicha, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, to come and deliver the State of the Church address. Chairman, you are welcome. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. Ephesians 3 verse 10. Husbands, love your wives. Just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up to her, to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. Ephesians 5, 25 to 27. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 3, verse 21. The General Secretary, Apostle Alexander Nanaya Okumilabi, the International Missions Director, Apostle Emmanuel Jesiado, other members of the Executive Council, Apostle Professor Opoku Onyena, our immediate past chairman, Apostle Dr. Michael Kwabna Intumi, our former chairman, Reverend Chris Cartwright, General Superintendent Ilim Pentecostal Churches, Reverend David Campbell, member, National Leadership Team, Ilim Pentecostal Churches, Apostles, Prophets, Evangelists, National and Area Heads, Ministry Directors, and Ministry Executive Committee members, Ministers of the Church of Pentecost, trustees of our great church, chairmen of committees and boards, elders representatives, women representatives, retired ministers here present, ladies and gentlemen. It has been the will of God that for the second time running, we hold the general council meetings virtually. It has become necessary by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, which is still with us.
today. On behalf of the Executive Council, I warmly welcome you all to the opening service of the 45th session of the General Council meetings of the Church of Pentecost. I take this opportunity to express my deepest appreciation to God for his loving kindness towards the church. Despite the challenges, the COVID-19 pandemic, he continues to prove himself faithful. May his name be praised forever and ever. My appreciation also goes to the executive council members for their sustained commitment to the church, especially in these difficult times. I would like to personally appreciate Apostle Alexander Danaya Okumil Labi, the General Secretary, for his relentless support and dedication to the administration of the church. Let me, at this point, pay a glowing tribute to Apostle Emmanuel J.C. Addo, who brings his tenure of office as the International Missions Director to an end in August this year. Apostle Emmanuel J.C. Addo, together with his wife, Elizabeth, have admirably and faithfully served the church for 10 fruitful years. On behalf of the Executive Council, and the entire church, I say, are you called to you, Apostle Emmanuel Jesiado? God bless you so much. Well done, Apostle. May the Lord continue to be with you as you take up your new role as an area head. I also express my appreciation to all area and national heads, missionaries, directors of ministries, or other ministers, trustees, chairmen and members of boards and committees for their sacrifices and love towards the work of the Lord. I pray that God will continue to bless you out of his glorious riches. The management and staff at the headquarters and the various administrative areas of the church are also highly appreciated for their hard work and commitment to duty. The officers of the church, as well as the entire membership, have been the officers of the church, as well as the entire membership, have been very resilient in their support, even during this pandemic. May the Lord of the church bless them and continue to be with them in all their endeavors. Dearly beloved, God has been very gracious in raising individuals in the church who continue to provide massive support to the work of the ministry in various ways and forms. While many avail themselves to fast and pray continuously for the church, there are many others who also support financially. Some put up church buildings, some bought parcels of land, or donated vehicles, evangelism equipment to the church. In the main report, there is detailed information on individuals individuals, districts, areas, nations who supported some sectors of the church. For the purpose of this address, I would like to acknowledge a few of them. Elder Dr. Joseph Siawe Japon, Executive Chairman, Jospon Group of Companies, of the Teshi Nungwa area, Elder Dr. Nana Samuel Amutobin, Executive Chairman Tobinko Group of Companies of La Area of the Church of Pentecost, Elder Prince Amwa of Kwadasu area, Elder Nana KJC of Swami area, Elder Samuel Fredia Ajeman of Teshi Nungwa area, Dickness Mrs. Eunice Esumahine of Teshinungwa area, 
another Patrick Danso of Kaneshi area. Continue to support the church in the payment of tithes and making other financial commitments, including putting up of church buildings and mission houses and purchasing of vehicles. A businessman, Mr. Isaac Kwame Enki, and the wife, Alexandria, who are not members of the church, single-handedly put up and fully finished a 700 seater auditorium for the Inchira Central Assembly in the Kintampo area. They also supported the construction and finishing of a district mission house. These amounted to a total of 2.5 million Ghana cities. Shall we put our hands together for this brother? Mr. Steven Ajako, who is a member of the Wenchi Fie Assembly in Wenchi District, Sunyani, also single-handedly put up a church building for Aheni Local Assembly in Chira District at a total cost of 149,529 CDs. On behalf of the Executive Council and the entire church, I express my profound appreciation to all these benefactors. I want us to just sing um, one song and praise the name of the Lord together. Wapai and Fahudi, every open Samson, Shiraka Obama, Hallelujah, Shiraka Obama, no, Wati Otamfusu, Wati Osukuni, Wasari and Fahudi, every open Samson, Shiraka Obama, Hallelujah, Shiraka Obama. Yeah, <laughs> What my family did, every other son, Thank you very much. Now to the state of the church address proper. This, this, this state of the church address provides a report of our stewardship for the year 2020. It includes highlights of our achievement under the various intervention areas of the church's vision 2023 agenda of possessing the nations, as well as all major developments that took place in the reporting year. General overview. Despite the restrictions imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the year 2020 witnessed appreciable number of activities at all levels of the church in pursuit of the Vision 2023 agenda. The church, within the period, opened 746 new assemblies worldwide and created 124 districts, a total of 195,636 souls were won with 99,120 of them, representing 50% baptized in water. The church's overall membership grew by 4.3%. To the glory of God, 
the church during the period also recorded healings, deliverances from satanic oppression and several miracles giving the indication that God was and is at work in his church. Headquarters administration. As of December 2020, there were 402 non-ministerial staff on the official payroll of the church. This number was made up of 226 employees at the area office and 176 at the head office. All departments within the administrative setup of the church's headquarters performed creditably well in the period under review, even though they operated under strict restrictions. Twelve workers of the headquarters at, at the headquarters were retired during the reporting year. These were as follows. Rebecca Kisiedu, Selena Owusu, Arnold Doe, John Anderson, Emmanuel Parker, Isaac Owusu Yeboah, Thomas Nyame, Edward Atakra, Noah Yao Adonu, Stephen Yeboa, John Nyona, Samuel Bafo Ewa. These served for periods ranging from 13 to 37 years. We thank them for their service to the church and wish them well in their retirement. May I, at this point, draw your attention to some progress made in the year under review by beginning with the church worldwide. Membership growth. As at December 2020, the Church of Pentecost operated in 109 nations, including Ghana, with a total membership of 3,623,011, recording a growth rate of 4.3% over the previous year. The church in Ghana constituted 85.1% of the worldwide total membership. The remaining 14.9 was accounted for by our external branches, including the two autonomous nations, Benin and La Côte d'Ivoire. Evangelism and church planting across the globe. A total of 1,000. 147,730 outreaches were carried out worldwide. This represents a 3% decrease with respect to that of the previous year. Total adult souls from these outreaches summed up to 195,636 which also represents a decrease of 2.27% with respect to that of the previous year, 2019. Of this number, 58,209 came from the Gospel Sunday Morning Initiative. In spite of the relatively low figures recorded, it is important to acknowledge the grace of God which opened avenues for the gospel to be preached in the midst of the challenges of the COVID-19. To him be glory forever and ever. It is also gratifying to note that despite the challenges that we were confronted with, 99,120 of the souls won were baptized in water. This means that 50% of all adult souls won in 2020 were baptized in water. The period also witnessed the planting of 746 churches worldwide and the creation of 124 districts. The church, as of December 2020, had a total of 23,588 assemblies and 2,648 districts worldwide. To God be all the glory. In the area of Holy Spirit baptism, a total number of 135,000 
and 61 members received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Of this number, 69,398 were new converts, representing 70% of the converts baptized in water. This is very encouraging. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now turn our attention to progress in Ghana. The church in Ghana recorded a membership growth of 3.6%, leading to a total membership of 3,081,862 as at December 2020. This number constitutes 9.92% of the total estimated 2020 Ghanaian population of 31 million. 72,940. This also constitutes approximately 14% of the total Christian population in Ghana, which is estimated to be 71.2% of the Ghanaian population. The data again show that the youth continue to make up the largest segment of the church's membership. Children membership constituted 32.3%, while those above 35 years constituted 26%. The overall analysis implies that 73.9% of Church of Pentecost members membership in Ghana is made up of youth and children. It is therefore important for leadership at all levels to continue to give significant attention to nurturing these young people in a manner that will position them to contribute greatly to the cause of the church, evangelism and church planting. The year 2020 witnessed a total of 137,000 984 evangelistic outreaches. These outreaches yielded a total of 154,074 souls for the Lord. Of this number, souls won from the Gospel Sunday Initiative numbered 54,377. That is for Ghana. Out of the total number of adults, souls won 79,340 were baptized in water, representing 51.5%. The year witnessed the opening of 568 new assemblies and creation of 68 new districts. This one is despite uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, all the challenges. Uh, we want to bless God for the life of the area. Yes. As of December 2020, the church in Ghana had a total of 1,523 districts and 17,422 local assemblies. By the grace of God, two administrative areas were also created, Chifupraso and Ofenso from Asimfosu and Swami areas respectively. The total number of administrative areas now stands at 71. In terms of Holy Spirit baptism, the church in Ghana during the period witnessed the baptism of 110,176 of its members. Out of this number, 51,117 were new converts, representing 64.4% percent of the convert baptized in water. This is very encouraging. All these successes have come about as a result of individual members' commitment to the cause of the gospel of Christ. It is gratifying to note, brothers and sisters, that Elder Mark Akuto of Diaso District in Dunkwa area solely won 40 souls through personal evangelistic activities. Dickiness Faustina Badu of Sunyani East District single-handedly embarked on an evangelistic outreach to a community named Timba Nkwanta. Through her effort, a total of 33 souls were won 
leading to the opening of a home and urban mission assembly in the area. One person. <laughs> to God be the glory. Eda Mark Akoto and Dekines Faustina Bedu are highly commended for their zeal for the Lord. Details of performance by respective areas and districts in some key operational parameters have been provided in the main brochure. Now, ministry performance. This time I'll pay attention to the five main ministries, the traditional ones. Children's ministry. In the course of the year, on October 18, 2020, Prof. Sir William Otu Ellis took over from Apostle Fred Tiako as director of the children's ministry. The ministry, as of December 2020, had a total membership of 994,437. Even with the limited meeting space of time, the ministry embarked on a vigorous evangelism drive which withered a total of 32,357 souls that is children won for Christ, won and retained. A total of 16,030 children were baptized in the Holy Spirit and 61,278 children were dedicated. The number of teachers as at December 2020, was 72,044. Now to youth ministry. The youth ministry, as at December 2020, had a total membership of 1,282,713. They began the year with a unique conference for PENSA members at the tertiary level at Pentecost Convention Center with a rec record attendance of 4,222, the highest ever. The ministry found creative ways to undertake almost all planned programs. You see, for the youth, they managed to find creative ways. <laughs> Political chamber, business and entrepreneurial chamber, School of Apologetics, Pentecost Youth Missionaries Outreach, Youth Workers Leadership Seminar, Pensagana Leaders Retreat for tertiary and pre-tertiary students were all held online and saw massive participation. For purposes of discipleship, a mobile application, the Pentecost Youth App was developed by the ministry. The Women's Ministry, Dickiness, Mrs. Philomena Miraku took over from Dickness Mrs. Grace Lucy Yeboa Siyama on October 18, 2020, as the director. The ministry, as at December 2020, had a total membership of 1,212,362. Activities which took place during the period included prayer meetings, marriage seminars, health talks on prevailing health issues, stress management, and entrepreneurship training to equip the women in various handicrafts, various handicrafts, evangelism by the women's ministry in the various areas yielded 21,000 souls, with 14,000 receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Pentecost Men's Ministry. Apostle Vincent Nanani Dente succeeded Apostle Emmanuel Ankrabedu as director on October 18, 2020. The total membership of the ministry as of December 2020 stood at 661,342. It is gratifying to note that the enthusiasm of men is gradually rising to the glory of God. Evangelism ministry. The ministry embarked on vigorous evangelistic activities nationwide, resulting in 148,393 decisions being made for Christ, and 405 new local assemblies were planted by the ministry. The total number of Holy Spirit baptism recorded 
was 59,335 through the ministry's outreaches. Teshinungwa area donated a DAF CF75 truck with registration number JJ4816-15 to help the ministry in their activities. Thank you very much, Teshi Nungwa. The various committees and boards perform creditably well in their respective mandates. Their activities greatly enhance the Vision 2023 agenda of the church on health and education support. In the course of the year, 2,313,859 Ghana cities and nine pesos was spent on health care support to members at various levels of the church in Ghana. The church also spent 3,669,464 Ghana cities, 97 pesos, in sponsoring educational pursuits of its members at various levels. Let us now turn our attention to international mission. On, on the missions front, brothers and sisters, at the end of the 2020 reporting year, the number of nations in which the church operated increased from 106 in the previous year to 108. The two nations added were Vietnam and South Sudan. <laughs> Membership in the non-autonomous nations increased by 23,000 in the course of the year, culminating in an overall membership of 344,033. This represents 7.2% increase over the previous year's membership. The two autonomous nations also recorded a membership increase of 17,701 in the reporting period. This led to a growth in the total membership from 179,415 in 2019 to 197,106 in 2020, an increase of 9.9%. As of December 2020, the standard branches of the church operating in 108 nations across the world had recorded an overall membership of 541,149, witnessing a percentage increase of 8.1%. Evangelism and church planting in our missions endeavor. A total number of outreaches carried out in the international missions of the church was 9,746. From these outreaches, a total of 41,562 souls were won. Of this number, 19,780 were baptized, representing 47.6%. A total of 258 new assemblies were opened, while 56 new districts were created. To God be all the praise. As of December 2020, the total number of assemblies in our external missions was 6,166, while that of the districts was 1,125. Indigenous members among the nations. The indignity of the missions work is some, in some of the nations stands as follows. 100% indigenous membership in Mauritius, Congo Brazzaville, Namibia, Rwanda, Angola, Belize, Kenya, Malaysia, Nepal has 100% Trinidad and Tobago, India and Malawi, 100% indigenous members. Now, Congo DR. 
Madagascar, Mozambique, Guinea-Bissau, Ethiopia, Zambia, Bangladesh, Jamaica, Zimbabwe, Uganda, Swaziland, Chad, Botswana, Burundi, Sierra Leone, Lesotho, Central African Republic, Togo, and Kenya also recorded over 90% indigenous membership. A Francophone only ministers and wives conference took place in February 2020, just before the outbreak of the pandemic in Ghana, under the theme, A Glorious Check to Possess the Nations. 1,200 ministers and wives from 25 nations participated in the conference. Feedback from the conference was very encouraging. It is envisaged that, God willing, it will be a regular feature. As part of the Vision 2023 agenda to make the church more visible in the various nations, there were construction and acquisition of outstanding church buildings in some strategic locations in various nations. These nations included Tanzania, Kenya, Dubai, Argentina, Gabon, Madagascar, Uganda, Sierra Leone, the Gambia, and Kivet. The Mission Board also financed the acquisition of sizable plots of land for the construction of important church projects in Nigeria, Senegal, the Philippines, and Zambia. Now we turn to the Church of Pentecost Higher Educational Institutions. Pentecost University recorded its Pentecost University received its presidential charter on June 1, 2020, to the glory of God. This began a new era for the school. And with it came many blessings. The university, during the period under review, had a new vice chancellor in the person of Pastor Professor Kwabena Ejapon Kodia, who took over from Apostle Dr. Daniel Walker, who had served well in that capacity for four years. At the end of the first ad ad admission for the 20. 2020-21 academic year, 1,015 students were matriculated, which is an increase of 118% over the number of students who matriculated within the same period last academic year. Of this number, 185 were sponsored under the Vision 2023 Pentecost University Sponsorship Initiative. The Church of Pentecost Chairman Education Foundation, COFSEP, was successfully registered and continued to receive donations from partners and stakeholders. Now, Birmingham Christian College, UK. The college, during the period, upgraded its IT software to a five office 365 license, which includes remote access for staff to, to all file and data. It also procured education of office 365 licenses for all students for the purpose of online lecturing. Activities carried out during the period included the following. Developed, they developed a level 300 award in church marketing strategies, which was accredited by the UK National Awarding Institution, NCFE, in October 2020. BCC, together with our Pentecost Biblical Seminary in USA, conducted a missions research for the Executive Council of the Church, examining the challenges Church of Pentecost in Europe and North America face in reaching out to the indigenous population. A certificate in Christian Ministry and Leadership Program for Elders was accredited by the NCFE in May 2020. 
BCC successfully developed an, an introduction to Christian counseling course with 30 hours of guided learning. Now, Pentecost Biblical Seminary in the United States. Pentecost Biblical Seminary, PBS, currently offers the following ministerial formation courses. Certificate in Theological Studies and Diploma in Pastoral and Theological Studies. Best one to Vision 2023. The seminary also rolled out a certificate program for lay leaders during the period. As at December 2020, 185 students, that is 32 ministerial formation, and then 153 lay leaders had enrolled at the sem seminary. The Pentecost Francophone Theological Bible School in La Côte d'Ivoire. The church's Bible school located in La Côte d'Ivoire, Abidjan, Pentecost Francophone Theological Bible School, had very little operation, operation during the period due to the COVID-19 pandemic. During the period, the school enrolled 24 first-year students. Now we want to pause for a moment and then please watch this. Vision 2023, Possessing the Nations, is equipping the church to transform every sphere of society with values and principles of the kingdom of God. When God called Abraham and by extension Israel, God called them so that through Israel, he would make the kingdoms of the world, the kingdom of the God of Israel. So we effectively now replace Israel in God's agenda so that we are not just coming to church no it's not about singing and dancing there's work to be done the vision is on and throughout the year the church deployed various biblical strategies to enthrone and institutionalize christ and his purposes in the hearts of men and across every sphere of life we have diligently followed our three-pronged strategic approach of equipping the church to take the nations now when we talk about equipping the church it must be strengthened it must be equipped it must be armed to go out there and possess the land strengthening and realigning church institutions and structures this is to realign the existing structures to hold the new agenda and transforming society which involves a deploying our members to transform their societies we are the first resource so that everywhere that you go home workplace you go there with the light and the salt and then transform the place B, community transformation that is to say that we lend some support to the morality and the development of the community in which our churches are pitched or where you live C, church government partnership they are big ones that we need to partner with the government to achieve the lord who sent us rewarded our obedience with many results the word of god grew mightily even in the midst of the challenge of the covid 19 pandemic the restrictions on church gatherings could not stop god's agenda home cell and bible study groups increased and technology helped to create more platforms for sharing the word of god the restrictions also gave birth to many spiritual programs on Penn TV that mentored not just members of our church but others in and outside the country. Surely an army is being raised and the church is being equipped and empowered to win the battle and bring home victory. We are steadily possessing the nations.
The influence of the church and the love of Jesus was seen and felt when the church in Ghana provided an urgent crucial need of the state during the pandemic in 2020 by offering the Pentecost Convention Center as the main isolation center for COVID-19 patients. Through the interventions at various levels and different countries, we showcase the power of the gospel not only to bring salvation but also in providing the needs of society. The glory of the church is in our ability to exercise power over principalities. The church declared peace on Ghana during the 2020 elections through our Agent of Peace campaign and peace was established. We continue to stretch our influence and the love of God through the activities of pencils and other areas of a church providing health care facilities, prison holding facilities, water and other social amenities. Great livelihood interventions also provide an income to many and liberated them from the satanic strategy of poverty. More than ever, People with various forms of disabilities experienced the love of God, knowing that the church has not neglected them as they find a voice to minister to each other and to the world. Through chaplaincy, chiefs and local leaders were mentored to influence towns and dispense love and peace. Workplaces were reached to affect work and family. Institutions were touched to bring the mind of Christ to bear on education and hospitals. The counseling ministry offered deliverance to many through the light of his word. Pensa International penetrated the educational systems of countries to influence and shape the mindset and worldviews of students with the gospel as an ideology and unleash them to go out and influence society. The COP Workers Guild continued to train its members to position themselves as agents of transformation at their workplaces. Ham continues to get unprecedented results among groups that the traditional church has ignored for a long time. People groups that were previously not on the church's outreach plan are turning to Christ in their hundreds. The environmental care campaign continued to call on the state and relevant stakeholders to rise up and lead in the stewardship mandate of man over the environment. Possessing the nations is to get the church to leave the four walls of our temple so the world will benefit from our light. The church is God's only hope. We are all he has. We are diligent because when we stand before him to give account of our individual roles in his agenda, we want to hear him say, well done. Now we want to quickly get some highlights from the Vision 2023 agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point share with you some key highlights from the Vision 23 implementation. This is in addition to what I have shared with you earlier in my delivery, which included evangelism and church planting, the gospel Sunday initiative, Holy Spirit baptism, the ministry activities, and all that. These highlights have been arranged under the three strategic approach of the Vision 2023. That is equipping the church, realigning existing institutions and structures, and transforming society. On the equipping the church, the ch equipping the church to possess the nations is the major focus of Vision 2023. It serves as the point where believers are trained and discipled to project Christ to the world. During the period under review, activities carried out under this strategic vision included the following. Teaching services, 
As challenging as the year was, the church at all levels adopted several strategies, including virtual meetings to treat the team for the year, which was a glorious church to possess the nations. However, due to the limited space and time, these teachings on the theme were not exhaustive enough. As a result, the 2020 theme was repeated for 2021 with the introduction of one word, revived. Now, the 2021 team then stands at a glorious church revived to possess the nations. We held prayer meetings and fasting meetings, not just that God will have mercy for us during the, con the pandemic, but also to strengthen our faith in the Lord. Home cell systems in Ghana and many other nations prove very valuable in the period under review. Realigning existing institutions. Major interventions carried out under this strategic approach included but not limited to the following. Home and urban missions. To the glory of God, brothers and sisters, the home and urban mission in its activities won 12,331 souls. This was, this was made this was made up of 416 commercial sex workers, 1,194 street dwellers, 3,713 drug addicts, 3,205 North Nests in the South, 544 African migrants, 101 expatriates, that is non-African migrants. We also decided to move and then target some unrich, um, unrich groups, unrich people groups. And then by God's grace, the Home and Urban Mission brought home to the kingdom of God 527 Fulanis, 50 Chakalis, 91 Kotokolis, and 12 Chalice with 800 others. During the period 2,183 of the converts received water baptism and 723 were baptized in the Holy Spirit. As of December 2020, there was a total of 145 home and urban mission assemblies. This is made up of 51 mobile churches, that is ghetto assemblies, 12 French assemblies, 6 Fulani home cells, and 1 expatriate assembly, that is a Chinese assembly. The current home and urban mission membership stands at 8,259 made up of 2,809 children and 5,450 adults. A Made in Fulani convention was held at the Radach Lodge and Conference Center in Tamale. A total of 169 Fulani participated. During the period, 74 street children 298 drug addicts, 38 sex workers, 101 street dwellers, 48 others were put into trade, enrolled in schools, or given vocational and entrepreneurial skills. Now, ministry to persons with disability. During the period, 1,423 persons with disabilities were won for the Lord, 697 Converts were baptized in water. 320 received Holy Spirit baptism. To the glory of God, the year witnessed the opening of three new deaf assemblies. The total membership of the deaf ministry in Ghana, as at December 2020, was 708. The counseling ministry of the Church of Pentecost in as at 2020, the end of 2020, wrote out a counseling session on Pentecost TV. The National Committee, during the period, successfully put together a certificate program in counseling and family therapy and submitted it to the Pentecost University to be rolled out. 
Pensa International. In the year 2020, Pensa International embarked on two mission trips to Rwanda and Uganda, proud to the announcement of the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions. These mission activities, by the grace of God, yielded 236 souls. Branches of Pensa were inaugurated in the University of Rwanda and Kampala University, Uganda. And national coordinators were also trained to man the souls that were won. Due to their inability to embark on the mission trip in person, Pensa International launched its maiden virtual mission program, Dark Awake, that is I Will Go 2020. The project mobilized, equipped, and deployed 3,821 participants globally for a special strategic virtual mission targeted at the Arab nations. By the special grace of God, 256,130 persons were reached virtually with the gospel. Twelve Arabs were won for the Lord. Trans transforming society. In addition to evangelism and church planting, other major interventions carried out under the strategic this strategic approach included the following. Chaplaincy ministry. The chaplaincy ministry activities in 2020 focused on ministries to chieftaincy and educational institutions, hospitals, and workplaces. Despite the restrictions witnessed during the period, many of the areas and districts continued their chaplaincy ministries. This ministry rigged in souls and contributed to the peace within our communities. In Waluwale area, the chief tenancy ministry has impacted the Boni Naswan community of Jimbeli district to the extent that when the nearby community attacked them, they did not retaliate. When asked why they did not retaliate, they responded that they knew the Jimbali district pastor, Pastor Daniel Tete, who had been offering chaplaincy services to the palace, would be disappointed to hear that they had retaliated the attack by their, their opponent. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, so that is how effective the chieftaincy ministry to the palace is working. Complacency. Chaplaincy services were also offered to some health institutions, security service businesses, and financial institutions, such as banks and savings and loan facilities, the prisons, police cells, ghettos, witch camps, and orphanages. Pentecost Workers Guild is a network of professional and non-professional workers of the Church of Pentecost who strive to be sought and light at their workplace and are committed to the attainment of the church's vision 2023. The guild's activities in the year 2020 were slowed down due to the COVID pandemic. The few activities carried out during the period included but not limited to the following. I'll just mention one and two. The Health Guild formed a COVID-19 tax force and among the activities they carried out were health education in and out of the church using the Pentecost TV and some radio stations. The guild also donated PPE to some health facilities, schools and prisons. Pensos, in partnership with Pentecost IT Workers Guild, developed a cloud-based school information management system for use by Pentecost schools. The new system is currently being piloted at Bubiashi and Medina PPS, preparatory schools. Now, the Church of Pentecost, in the wake of the pandemic in Ghana, undertook a number of initiatives to support the government in the fight against the pandemic. Some of these have been outlined here. The church handed over them its multi-purpose facility the Pentecost Convention Center to the government of Ghana to be used as 
an isolation center for persons infected with the coronavirus disease. This cost the church over 39 million CDs. The church released 11 of its senior vans to the National Commission for Seeking Education to be used to undertake public education exercise on COVID-19 across the country. For a period of six weeks, the church bore the expenses covering the vehicles, maintenance, the fuel allowance, and accommodation for the drivers who use the van for the public education exercise. The church's headquarters donated 100000 to the Ghana COVID-19 fund. The church's headquarters also supported needy members to the tune of 23,000 CDs. Pentecost Social Services. The Pentecost Social Services, Pensos, the church's registered non governmental organization operating in Ghana is restructured to be more resort oriented. Major interventions carried out by pensos during the period included the following. The church completed the construction of one clinic in Kotumasi in the Boko area of the church to provide the needed health services to the people in the in the community. A two-bedroom semi-detached staff bungalow was constructed to house the medical doctor and the clinic administrator at the Pentecost Clinic at Pasa. A total of 26 boreholes were drilled, fully funded by the headquarters. 18 additional boreholes were also drilled at the area level through financial resources mobilized by the area. Now we continue to build four prison facilities, one at Ejira, the other at Insom, the other one at Damango, and at Obuasi. They are all in various stages of completion. I want to announce, brothers and sisters, that on the 11th of May, the one at Ejira will be commissioned. Pensos also undertook many lively, livelihood interventions for the members of the church. For the sake of time, if we have the brochure, you will see details of all that. We also did environmental campaigns, and then we led in the Agent of Peace campaign, which gave us a peaceful election in Ghana and also uh, enjoyed the benefit of the grace of God, which God is still pouring on the nation Ghana. Finance and infrastructure development. Despite the, the impact of the pandemic, despite the impact the pandemic had on Ghana's economy, the headquarters income for 2020 increased by 7%. When much against the 2019 income, the major income sources such as ties, missions offering, and Christmas convention process registered some growth in performance. The church disbursed 68 million as grants in the form of CBCB, UACB, AIDF to the areas. Some sectors like the Pentecost University, Pentecost Convention Center, and Pencils received financial support of 4.5 one million in 2020. These funds contributed to providing decent accommodation for many of our local assemblies. There was an overall reduction, there was an overall reduction in assemblies worshiping in non-permanent church buildings, including temporary structures, rented halls, classrooms, and under trees. Miracles. We thank God for the manifestation of his continuous presence in his church through diverse signs and wonders. The church recorded many miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit in the year under review. 
blind eyes were opened, the paralyzed were made whole, cancerous cells were healed, couples were blessed with children after many years of marriage, and the, the dead were raised to life, among many other miracles. For instance, in Kenya, a member's wife, Leah Safar, fell sick and died and was taken to the mortuary. The husband ran to the local church to inform them of the sudden demise of the wife. The church decided to pray for the whole night, and in the morning, the mortuary attendant came to inform them, came to inform the family and the church that the woman had come back to life. She is now doing very well. Many such occurrences have been documented in the main brochure. Challenges. Despite the successes struck, we are still battling with some challenges that need attention. The non-availability of leaders due to high, high level of illiteracy and the migration to the big towns and cities for greener pastures affected the rural districts in effectively championing some key areas of the vision, such as Bible studies and home cell, chaplaincy and counseling. Despite the efforts being made in the area of providing decent places of worship through CBCB, USCB projects, the 2020 infrastructure analysis revealed that 2,555 out of the 17,422 assemblies in Ghana, representing 14%, still worship on the tree and in classrooms. We are still battling with low attendance to evening services. Participation in ministry activities has not reached the desired height. The number of our sliders is still high. These are, there are welfare issues at the grassroots level that need to be looked at. In these meetings, attention will be given to the discussion of these challenges and strategies will be mapped out to tackle them. I think we need some fresh fire, a revival to awaken us once again into action and a fire to set our hearts ablaze to possess the nations. If we have experienced a pandemic in our lifetime, we should also experience a revival in our lifetime. The zeal of the Lord will accomplish this one. During the period, some ministers and ministers' wives went to be with the Lord. Let us continue to pray for the families they left behind, that the Lord will continue to sustain them. Shall we please rise to our feet if you can to observe a mini silent in honor of our departed gallant soldiers of the cross? May their precious souls rest in peace. Amen. Please have your seat. After many years of serving the Lord and his church, some of our ministers will be retiring from active service this year. They are Apostle Rene Coco Benin. He served for 38 years. Apostle Dr. Alfred Kodia Teshi Nungwa, a former general secretary. He served for 37 years. Apostle Mark Obeyando Sunyani. He served for 37 years. Apostle Robert Akun. Asan Gregoire served for 35 years. Apostle Agbavito Togo served for 33 years. Apostle Dr. Francis Kofi Bonsu, Spain, served for 32 years. Evangelist Stephen Omani Yeboa, USA, served for 27 years. Apostle Dr. Emmanuel Antonio Usu, Canada, served for 26 years. Apostle Echo Bedwood, Kaswa area, served for 26 years. Apostle Peter Ousu Amponsa, USA, served for 24 years. Apostle Joseph on Onile, Nigeria, served for 23 years. Apostle 
Silvario from Brazil, 11 years. Pastor Paul Kwao Nimsen served for 38 years. Pastor Samuel Asaidia served for 37 years. Pastor John Ochi also served. Pastor Samuel Asari Kunedu served for 37 years. Pastor John Ochi served for 37 years. Pastor Samuel Insia served for 31 years. Pastor Rubin Mensa Adrapanya served for 31 years. Pastor Thomas Kwabena Tando served for 30 years. Pastor Alfred George Sam served for 30 years. He is retiring on health grounds. Pastor Alex David Adre served for 29 years. Pastor Emmanuel Lafte served for 27 years. Pastor Samuel Kwesi Esiama served for 27 years. Pastor Matthew Kwabna Baini served for 26 years. Pastor Peter Gossin Ando, 26 years. Pastor Andrews Odro Ampau, 26 years. Pastor David Kwesi Mensa served for 25 years. Pastor Matthew Owusu served for 25. Pastor Yao Owusu Ajay served for 24 years. Pastor Stephen Abwaje, 24 years. Pastor Douglas Owusu Ade, 24 years. Pastor Michael Adai, Kojo Adai, 24 years. Pastor Bright Ajay Mensa, 23 years. Pastor Kofi Adutua Apia, Nigeria, 23 years. Pastor Joseph Ya Osman, 23 years. Pastor Maxwell Aja Ayete, Ayete, 22 years. Pastor Joseph Kwabena Eim, he also served for 22 years. Pastor Friday Ozezua, Nigeria, 22 two years. Pastor Kweku Kobna, 20 years. Pastor Abraham Duka, 20 years. And Pastor Hussan Khan, Bangladesh, six years. Beloved, these gallant soldiers of the cross have commendably served the Lord and the church. This will be their last official participation in our council meetings as counselors. I will therefore kindly request that we honor and appreciate them with an applause. Shall we put our hands together? You have done very, very well. Very, very well, very, very well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dear retiring ministers, I pray that the Lord God Almighty, before whom you have walked and served, who would bless and grant you a restful retirement when the time is due. On this note, brothers and sisters, I now declare the special 45th session of the General Council meetings of the Church of Pentecost formally opened in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It is my prayer that the good Lord will lead us in all our deliberations. God bless us all. May this our Lord God and greatly to be praised his mercies over us all his works shall praise great is our lord great is our lord god and greatly to be praised his mercy
Bless you, our dear brother, Apostle Eric Nyameche, for that wonderful delivery. Chairman, it's time for us to intercede for the nations and pray on other prayer topics. The first to do as the honors will be Apostle Dr. Daniel Ochawaka, who will pray for Vision 2023. Then Apostle Emmanuel Jesse, our International Missions Director, was standing for Ghana. And then Apostle Usman Zabri will pray for world peace and evangelization. I humbly request our dear fathers to come as upstage because of time. You do it one after the other. So when the first person comes, I will not come again, then it follows in that order. So first, we are praying for Vision 2023. Second, Ghana, and then third, world peace and evangelization. Shall we please rise to our feet if you can? Oh God, our Father, how excellent is your name throughout all the world. Oh, how majestic is your name. We bring you praise, honor, and adoration for what we have done and you continue to do. We thank you, O oh Lord, our God, for what you continue to do for the churches. For truth, you said you will build your church, Lord, and you have not backed down on your promise. We thank you for all the things that we are seeing around and what you are doing worldwide. I want to thank you, God, for other Christian fellowships, especially the healing Pentecostal churches. But we also want to thank you especially for the Church of Pentecost. Today or tonight, listening to the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, State of the Church address, Lord, we can only say that it has been by your grace. Even through all the challenges, if we can talk about successes, if we can talk about achievements, we know that it has not been by our effort, but it has been by your grace, O oh Lord. Father, we bless your holy name. And Lord, as we praise you, we continue to lift up the church into your hands. And the vision that you have given to us, we understand that in the past, you covenanted with our fathers that you will give the world to this church. 
And this time you are bringing this to the fore. The agenda of possessing the nations. Father, we stand here after listening to this address, lifting up our vision before you, O God. We are praying, dear Lord. We have outlined certain strategies. And these are what we bring to you. Equipping the church. And Father, as we seek to equip the church and to make sure that members will go out, Lord, transforming the nations and impacting values and principles of the kingdom of God, we pray particularly for leadership who are leading this agenda. And so bring presiding elders and local presbyteries before you. We bring our district ministers and district presbyteries before you. We bring our area heads and area presbyteries before you. We bring our national heads and national presbyteries before you. We bring the executive council, O oh God, before you. We are all before you, O oh God. And we pray, give us the understanding of your word. Give us the ability to teach your word. The unadulterated truth of your word. That as we impact our members, they will go out there to transform the nations. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bring this vision before you. Realigning our existing institutions and structures. Lord, we want to thank you for the home and urban mission. We want to thank you for the counseling mission. We want you to thank you for the ministry to persons with disabilities. And other interventions of God that we are leading as a church. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray for grace. We pray for wisdom. We pray for understanding. Wherever these ministries will step their feet. We pray, O oh Lord, that you grant great grace and success. That will continue to win many and many and many more for the kingdom of God. We want to pray again. Transforming the nation's agenda. We pray, Lord, we have sought to embark on other social interventions. And so, Father, as we pray, and embarking on building prisons and police stations and providing clinics and water and other interventions, our joy is not just to see these projects. But our deepest joy is to see people coming to the saving knowledge of Christ. And so, Father, as we do these things, may you breathe into them. And may people see you in these interventions. And may they run to come to you, O oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus. As we enter the palaces, continue to arrest, continue to change continue to transform chiefs and leaders of communities and of nations that together, Lord, our nations will be transformed. Father, we want to thank you. You are the God of the universe. And so, Lord, bless our efforts. You are the God of the nations. Bless our efforts, O oh God. You are the God of the nations. Let your face shine on us. And let your glory be seen in us. That as we go out there, wherever every member will be, at the workplace, at home, may our activities, may the things that we do impact our society and transform the nations. Yes, of course, we want to possess the nations for you. And we know by your spirit, we'll be able to achieve this and more. Resources belong to you. Gold and silver belong to you. We believe as a church we will never lack. And so everything that we will need to bring all these into fruition, we trust in your faithfulness for providence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we open these council meetings, we pray that everything that has been said here, your spirit will brood over everything and that you will cause the possession of the nation's agenda to be realized more and above even what we have asked and you have imagined. We thank you. You are able to do more. We trust in your faithfulness. Continue to be with your church, even now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name have we prayed. 
Amen. Our Heavenly Father, once again, we stand amazed at your grace, your faithfulness, and your care for this nation called Ghana. Your word says that, Lord, from one man whom you made the nations, defined their boundaries of their dwellings, and you did all this so that men will seek you and to know you. And Lord, we know that you have an agenda for every nation under the sun. And you have chosen Ghana within that purpose, oh God, to be a light and a flame. To spearhead the preaching of the gospel. Just as you caused Ghana to be the first nation in sub-Saharan Africa to gain its political independence. Even so, the light of the Pentecostal flame you lit right here in this nation of God has caused it to cross from here to the nations of the world, preaching the gospel of God and helping the nations of the world to hear the gospel and to know you. Father, we lift Ghana into your hands. Bless Ghana. Lord, bless Ghana. Let the rains fall in their season. Let the sun shine in its season. Let everything fall into place and make everything beautiful in its time. According to your word, we pray for the president of the republic and the vice president. Oh, Lord, we pray that you will raise up your hedge of defense around them. Protect them and keep them safe. We pray, oh God, that as they sit in council with covenant, every decision they take, one way or the other, affect our daily lives. And so, Lord, we pray that as they sit in council, be with them. Lord, be present at their meetings. We pray that, Lord, you whisper into their ears. And work in the background to influence and affect the decisions that they will make. So that those decisions will be decisions that will have the supreme interest of the people at heart. And they will be decisions that will honor you, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. For them to know that with you only is victory achieved and assured. We pray for the judiciary. We pray for the legislature. We pray that as they sit to deliberate over the affairs of this nation, oh God. Oh my God, I pray. Fill them with your spirit, oh God. And cause them to enact laws that are in accord with your will and with your purposes. Anything, any wind of change that blows from the external. That do not and does not honor you. That will cause them to enact laws contrary to your word and your purpose. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that you give them the grace to also reach out to the other side. In the realization that together will they be able to work together to build a better nation. To transform the fortunes of this nation, Ghana. O oh Lord. We pray for every segment of this nation. Let the dew of heaven bring us a refreshing. And make all of us contribute our quota to making and enhancing the fortunes of this nation. And making the people who live in this nation live in peace and tranquility. Bless Ghana, O oh Lord. Bless Ghana. And cause Ghana to continue to be the shining star in the world to the glory of your name. 
We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dieu Tout-Puissant, Père éternel, Admirable conseiller, prince de la paix, nous invoquons ton nom parce que tu connais les tempêtes, les vagues de tourbillons dans lesquelles nous nous trouvons dans notre vie sociétale. Éternel, dans cette crise sécuritaire, dont les peuples des nations sont plongés, des milliers de vies perdues chaque jour, criant sans Seigneur le Sauveur. Jésus, nos yeux sont sur toi. Cette crise de la pandémie, crise sanitaire, dans laquelle le monde est plongé, les crises socio-économiques. Seigneur, nous savons une seule chose. Seigneur, l'armée intelligente des Nations Unies n'a pas la solution. Les économistes n'ont pas la solution. L'Organisation mondiale de la santé n'a pas la solution. Nos yeux sont sur toi. C'est toi le seul espoir. Seigneur Jésus, en ton nom, intervient pour la paix du monde, intervient pour la sécurité du monde, intervient pour la stabilité et la cohésion sociale. Au nom de Jésus de Nazareth, prince de la paix, nos yeux sont fixés sur toi. C'est sur ce toi seul, le seul espoir de l'humanité en ce temps. C'est pour cela. Dans ta faveur, dans tes miséricordes, qui se renouvellent chaque matin. Nous prions pour une intervention divine, Seigneur. Dans ta miséricorde, exauce-nous ce soir et accorde la paix aux nations. Seigneur Jésus, comme les systèmes du monde n'ont pas la solution, c'est toi seul notre unique espoir. Mais la clé se trouve dans l'évangile. C'est pour cela que nous te prions pour l'évangélisation globale dans le monde que tu te suscites des hommes et des femmes. Seigneur, rempli de la puissance d'en haut, envahi, Seigneur, de la grâce divine pour pouvoir posséder les nations à la gloire de ton nom avec l'évangile de transformation. Seigneur, toutes les portes qui semblent être closes ou fermées, nous prions au nom de Jésus par l'autorité de ta parole et ton nom. Seigneur, ouvre les portes pour que l'évangile le salut, évangile dont nous n'avons pas honte, parce que c'est la puissance de Dieu pour le salut de quiconque croira. Seigneur, suscite des femmes et des hommes à travers le monde entier, dans l'église qui est encore, dont en est la tête. Suscite des femmes, des ministres aguerris. Seigneur, au nom de Jésus de Nazareth, remplis de la puissance d'en haut et donne à ce que des miracles, des signes et des prodiges authentifient la parole qu'ils prêchent et délivre le monde pour l'honneur et la gloire de ton nom. S'il y avait un seul moment dont le monde avait besoin de toi, Seigneur, pour cette percée dynamique évangélistique, c'est maintenant, Jésus de Nazareth, intervient par ton pouvoir et la puissance de ton nom, et donne-nous d'une manière agressive, évangéliser et gagner des âmes pour l'honneur et la gloire de ton nom. Seigneur, que tu vides le royaume du diable et que tu remplisses le royaume de Dieu. Et glorifie ton nom. Te connaissant plus que puissant et plus que Seigneur gracieux, nous comptons sur toi qui exauce les prières et nous savons que tu nous as entendu exaucer. Pour cela, nous voulons te dire merci. Déclarer que Seigneur, le monde sera gagné, l'évangile sera prêché, Christ sera honoré, la paix va s'établir parce que le prince de paix va régner. Règne en maître absolu dans toutes les sphères de la vie pour l'honneur et la gloire de ton nom. Merci Jésus, parce que nous savons que tu nous as pleinement obsessé. C'est au nom de Dieu le Père, Dieu le Fils et de Dieu le Saint-Esprit que nous avons prié et reçu avec accent de grâce. Amen. Praise God.
Praise the Lord. Also, thank you very much. Praise the Lord. On behalf of our dear chairman and executive council members, I want to say a big thank you to all our accredited uh, councillors for making time to join us. Also to our retired gallant ministers and the widows and their wives, we say, may the good Lord bless you. And to the general church public, we say thank you very much for following us on the various social media platforms and Pen TV. We continue to covet your prayer support for the grace of God to lead us through our deliberations, which begins early tomorrow morning, which will culminate to the major decisions that will be released hopefully on Saturday morning. We say thank you very much, and may the good Lord continue to bless us all. Before we take the closing prayer and benediction from our dear former chairman, Apostle Dr. Intumi, please let's observe the following announcements just for tomorrow. First, we want to advise that the Zoom link that was given to us this evening is the same link that we use for all the meetings. And therefore, we plead that uh, counselors make sure that this link does not slip into other unaccredited members' hands for them to zoom in. Please help us. It should be restricted for only accredited counselors' use. God willing, and if the Lord tarries, tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., the elections will come on. Between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. will come for the elections of the uh, International Missions Director and one Executive Council member. All these times are local, GMT. Then 3 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. will come for the business session and continue from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I'll go over it again. The Zoom link is preserved of only accredited counselors, and it will be used throughout the meetings. God willing, tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., we'll conduct the elections of the uh, International Missions Director and Executive Council member. That is between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. They will break and reconvene at 3 p.m. So 5.30 p.m. for the first session of business activities. I will take a short break and come again at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Now, with the permission of our dear chairman, we want to invite our former chairman, Apostle Dr. Intumi, to say the closing prayer and also give us the benediction. Thank you very much. Shall we be upstanding, please? Our gracious Lord and our God, we come before you with our sacrifices of praise to thank you for the life of your church. We thank you for your grace and the mercies that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you that, Lord, even while the world experienced a lockdown, your church was not bogged down. We thank you that, Lord, when the world and the nations suffered financial and economic crunches. Your church was provided with the means to progress and to, pro and to continue to foster the forward march of the 2020, of the uh, possessing the nation's agenda. Lord, we give you thanks and we give you praise. We thank you, O oh Lord, that in all things and at all times, you have shown us your grace and our mercies. We thank you, Lord, while the church was struck, while the nations were stuck in the quagmire of sin, in the quagmire of pandemic, you granted us grace to do the work of ministry, being lashed on, even on the springboard of evangelism, of church planting, and of church growth. We thank you, Lord, Lord, you have granted us grace to see all these things and to glorify your name. We thank you that, Lord, you have granted us grace in this opening ceremony of the 45th General Council meeting of the church. 
Thank you that, Lord, even in the face of all these challenges and problems, you have shown us the grace and the means to use technology to advance the kingdom of your Son and beloved Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, this is the beginning, and we do know that you who have led us all the way to this point will continue to show us your glory, to take us by the hand. For when you revealed your ways unto Moses, you caused Israel to know your works. Reveal and continue to guide our chairman and the executive council, and in fact, the whole body as we are all here gathered, that your church will see your glory. Your church will know your works and your name shall be glorified. And now, Lord, we do know that you will continue to lead us in the various deliberations that follow until, Lord, we experience your glory and your presence again as you give unto us a new international missions director. We thank you. Being assured of your faithfulness, we know you have already answered us because we have asked all these things in the name of our Lord and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And now, may the Lord God, who is the owner of the vineyard, the captain of the host, continue to lead and to bless us, continue to show us his mercies, continue to take us by the hand and lead us on step by step, year after year, into higher achievements for the glory of his name. May the Lord bless you and bless you and bless us all. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We are a glorious church built by Christ our Lord to reflect the beauty of God. We are a glorious church built by Christ our Lord to possess the name for God, Holy Spirit, revive your church, Holy Spirit, let your fire burn, Holy Spirit, sweep on your church to reflect the beauty of God. We are, we are a glorious church. Right, um, yeah, the young couple want say, um, said Eddie can share Yamia Dom the official opening ceremony in the me The chairman also to me ready the state of the church address. No, or they are trained now. Eddie can so church him, but said any year, baby call initial and I'm the kind of canon study her name, Apostle Dr. Alfred Kodia, patient in what area head, former general secretary of the Church of Pentecost, and that's what study you had. Yakuabano. I would like to get one or two views and uh, the comments on what he saw. I'm going to some witness even now. If he a few wrap up, be at the advance, and I'm sorry. Apostle, may I want to grab a view? Yo, I'm glad to say you know you're here. You you saw it. Your quick impression about uh, what happened so far. Um, India, yeah, that's it. So, mean to me too, Juma. To God be the glory, great things He has done. I saw no yame any edini ye. O share Yareka crake a year, a baby, we are saying. Now, last year, twenty twenty, Yareno, a hand and a high in a nan so would compare a year, chairman, I can kite the actual year. To God be the glory. Um, O share. COVID-19, Bremu. Yes. Nenya me aye asori adum. Church of Pentecost. The whole world. Na yeti me ebuwe 
en sorry fofron kwaa maako 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 ahenson edua nansia 746 e wo wi ase nyina eh my calculation o divide by 52 weeks up o be nya 14 na che se e wi ase nyina de bia de be e na wo twi bia the church of pentecost as a boy a sorry 14, a do nine. What the bag hand and so on. Open who said, Yame, any a sorry no edding the year. Yareka Krakeen in a mono. Ye boy, I sorry, my coma, four hundred and seventy six. Yes. And no, who divided by fifty two weeks up. A nine assemblies per week. A musa, a will form because previous years, no. Now, yeah, yeah. About ten assemblies per week. Oh, okay. And now they say you're running to a swati. Then so, sir, now what should be a yet to me be nine new assemblies are. Minya and ye a dear a daffo. To God be the glory. We share a cra. A nipper or modum huama a rade. A wasam yare every moa. And non so no. Who say nyame any asoro no edi ne ye pa? Enti then the overall church growth no overall church growth four point three nyame any asoro no edi ne ye pa? This 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 time in uh -huh. the, a lot of churches in the bible no more activities rather than crack of form. The church of Pentecost nyame Adam Oshie eni pa fu fra omo ababeka asoro no last year omo ebo omo esu mo omo tina ya omo ababeka asoro no. One hundred and eight thousand and thirty two. Enough from enough from cram. Ain't he yame? Why, yeah, Juma? Yeah, senior, yeah, dear, yeah, and catch less and catch man of a cosso cra a chance. So now, yeah, can they say, yeah, that will be as I said, yeah, chairman, at that a month for us. A yin, you know, I saw him, I saw him penning for, I saw for. Yin yina ye empire bo any a juma dinya ya ye ewo bra eti se ye mu ena abwa ye na na bere wakura sebi un timin sorry no ya sorry ba no or shed them bom pa ye ma sorry no or non swa contribute e se ye jina mpenin fu nyina ne mu ni shira u bia wabwa ama sorry ye nyini. I was a I think the individuals mean so din hot my abu boy or you contribution of their boy sorry see me she house. But we can't have a day or be a no only a sorry that's right. Only a sorry, so Tim could see a sorry day at the chair, the entire community. And I say, I mean, Asia Sanko, I think that the Ebema will be so any as a condom. So the Bebo are sorry, I just say, a sorry no church of Pentacles. Eh, yeah, there, yeah, the papa. Why not? No, baby, you'll be person by investing in Sika because yes, Sikana, the Beko, you'll find your juma. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, 84 will be being at that trust. Pentacles for the other mom will be in your resource. I saw sorry, I'm paying for more. Yeah, I mean, yeah, now that back to uh, one of a few things now for young fans. Sorry, so so we are down today. What happens tomorrow? What's now? I see elections no? mm -hmm. now. They so say upon day one, those times are now can who be general secretary to organize way. Look mm -hmm. at them, say now what this will be a 50. So, what's mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. what goes into it? You better election, what's now. Mm -hmm. The candidate in time and the air bar one thing and one goes in thing. Oh, they not what now? What they did? They say mm -hmm. the M one one was sorry. Money said yes. Any part or no be a new international mission director. Yeah, Kase Onim and will be answering him. Now may I do my the mini money said last minute in the executive council Asia and Opano. Ahem. Now. So the yeah, system not here, no constitution say the executive council regulating its own proceedings. Own proceedings uh -huh, shall nominate. And you know, executive council no a share power. Now, omo ashe a yinipa no more your nomination. Now, omo a via na street ye co electoral college. Aqua co to nipa no swab by a can electoral college a apostles and prophets. I am penning for no a war a sorry mono yenina and a yakwa cotuabano. Yatu abano wa 
As I say, in Nippon, we know air by electronic, yes, sir. What's not there? Yeah, what's not there? Yeah, you know, you're really into a better no by electronic voting. Yeah, two years before uh, you can say voting in a basso, then a few minutes, no, that candidate's no, name mm -hmm. will be known until to be given to <laughs> yeah. more uh, prospective uh, voters, yes, no, be a who, no, 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 uh, the first fifty percent plus. And then let you call it now because they apostles and prophets uh -huh. are calling. And the two years we now, now fee me I don't know about to work as here. Uh, general council in Nigeria. And so we have to a whole new two years to test, to test majority. And so now we are Now by that time now Idina Ababon, they send the now automatic say to test. We be now now new automatic. They be new automatic. Wow. Yeah, sorry, my BSC. A baby at Chemu said, You did not buy a two about Nippania. And you knew automatic. See, and now my main show secret a war pendicles are sorry, mo, but a quan a boy and pa ne say, Yenya campaign. I will about two more. This is a baby and Cal Sabri, O Wope, Wepe, Wepe. Now it's much one more year campaign. But said, Yeah, 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 dear, no, make us say. Any proper baby see a person just here do a name no. Or no one can him. Obi him. Name um. Ya me boa name penim foshia or china noa. En omo di di no beba. Omo ni de ba. En from man faso. Ye ye take a decision na ne ko the next step. Ya tu aba oho. En no a fire ya pe ne ko another step. Enti there's no room for campaign. And manipulation. And manipulation. Me can we say say. Ni me. And why and not intimate maintains Adeno? A da, I saw your baby crying at the Amma campaign, campaign, a war, yes, position, Hono. I did. I saw no baby be a ho. Tell no dear, and I mean why and say in Chilima, O be and conquer, yes, I'm mistaken. Because campaign be more, not than a politics. Correct, a criminal, and to be we are saying no, me, me no, ne prayer, make us at yaw, also beck us at yame. I feel better to have been there. We are now in here. We are not in here. Because of Assembia, eh, yeah, me can follow him. In the end, the NCC be be mukura. NCC campaign be be. Now, said the year new year, year two or so. Now, year we are going to be improve upon the year year. That moment from which step back on and let us see who may never misses impressive record. Yes, yes. In the paper, who may never misses. And if you have a bro, na a Jumano, as a Omono, a boy near Guomo, among Kenipa, him, Sabi, commercial sex workers, as will be a new woman, Sabi, a new and unfuller, and if war, as will be a new woman, and a street if war, will be a new woman, Yamia Dom, a sorrow, according to Yavisia, a day at Massey say, Sankro for no, can any a boy near Guomo, so no moon in answer. And yet, Domo, yea, yea, Omo, Juma. Now, who share figures are Abba, a chess and yame, a yea, Juma, a one, a sorrow. Dabba, I could be last one with the name for the sorrow's name, and also the woman in Chichim Cacra. A dear, a bunny. A baby, Yamea, Navy, by Saturday, a Friday evening to Saturday, said a yaka decision, you will be a no, a rather kind, say, white people. You say, you will be a friend, white people, and you will be a friend supplementary. Why people? Mm. Uh, yeah, um, major decisions are council meeting be a ye take into major appointments, major the elections. Yeah, yeah, be you. Then you know, beba nipa or beba be swedge man mono. Ni din beba so a fame transfers and so beba so and a review so be a several committees so. Obi a sevo wo board obi so the assessor no obi ba be shem ni njina be ba aso fo fo fra ya fa wo mo aso fo fo fra be ba mo kola ni njina na e ba e yinu so final decision ya di frequency meeting no ba e no e ni e freno white paper e e e dinan kro for the atusu e the atusu e e free e ya e kanda yi sa as a white paper but a major decision sir. Yeah, take it. Yeah, that was a a you know meet. That supplementary paper, no say the other. Supplementary, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transfers, no, you know, we are. 
chairman assign white paper na echo out assemblies you no know, as uh, chairman circular letter no echo obehwe no sebe ye ye denya e nipa ye de mfidi enso na ye djuma me six bi e be be bi ye mfa ne se wo ye sofo ana o sofo bi aya transfer no na ade no koko duro ho o ya ye me six sofo yi e bi kura ya transfer no ko onu ani krom ana se na yire krom ana se bibisa a uhu se ye ma no ko hwa e ye bibi oho ana se bi asebe sofo no kura ba bi e de no ko no o wo health condition bi e ho e me hospital kese e o mo beti me amanaji sa me the health condition no ne nyina ba back e be drum panim fo ni mu a o mo timi hwe we nyina e timi e ye changes and then the mass supplementary transfer no eba and the beti me so aba se ye ye ya no ye yi so fo bia free ba bi ah mistake aba ya fo bia nko she na nan okay ehm and na se so fo ba ko e be wi ase na ye de na ko two stations it is it is it is because it did not do so enti no ye ye nipa na afi ye din fi die na ye adwuma sa me say sin bi ya ba after council meeting no em panimfo no e ko duru ha omo de beba enti ye no no na panimfo oje a na ese omo sai etu agina foforo na ba bi ya omo de besi e no eno na sekura foforo beba ye frere no supplementary transfer mhm sa na tie and the nine idea a a who sa e mu da ho pepe 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 and another last major way na e dey kwa o chichi mu no dey we dey make cos no bi we and but bam council meeting same say abun so na e papa no so for be brebe no a lot na bi no eh apprehensive eh as a or sharing i dey na na a title sir well, I know no dear, said be I ain't nipper one dear, one day, any person say, What you hope? Yeah, no, I say, said be who depend because of for not never be bare five years. I brought so I say, Yes, sir. Who members of Crane must have a transfer. Now, and I want to win him, we did any more men him. And to win him, sir, I feel we be a mecca transfer. But baby, cry walk on. From no day we are where. Eh, from no day we ni. Nemo tu no. Tu no. Na yo daddy. Na no no. Eh na ebeti mi ama anxiety abba sofo numu ene ne yire ne numa. Enti yeko kansi miti ni njina no no wajine hong na fe ebeti mi ya na yena swade swawa da wana. Enti ebo ni ding sofo asme si from. Na opportunity to to know a bia o na ni das one say de no ko krokesi bi mu o ba hwe na anko ba na sa na na kuma je se e ha no e futu a me de be ma so fo nyina na se ade na ye ye no eh ye hwe process sa eh transfers e fan sa na abe dru ba bia ye dru o white papers o no e ye very 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 um Interesting process, transparent process, meticulous, meticulous process. Enti me experience kakra anya me ye madam fifteen years me detna executive no mon me hune se he obi owa we ye ne den be bi anya me person wa deno kono obe he ni pa ba kum ye dena fa ha o ni akwa ni aba ne ho ani ye deno beko. The name person who you know, who you need them. Mhm. And you know, as a sofu biya, as a mami biya, man, you come at one of them. The most important thing is to be where God wants you to be. That's it. And you see, when Moses said, "I could be a secure man," he had to walk away. Ne nyame, a hone nyame person who shall, a hone who insure, and who will be biya beba. Se nyame mfa wongo krokesim, na wa se. A possible bumpo, now Koshe Krukesi Moa, once in it. Process where they say, Wouldn't you mean? Walk around to the bumpo, Shisana, I dare not. Tinamena Mosso, 
a carrot, said a bell, beer, yes, and pay a pa, a bow executive council. A conchina, a year with executive council. And he said, Yeah, a nipa, yeah, yeah, one wedgema. You consider so many things. And son, yeah, yeah, transfer. Maybe I have a full room, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. But then, lastly, the same I say, Moshe, you share council meeting, I say. Expectation men are already free. Yeah, sorry, more. You understand? You fast till you be more. Yes. I see. So, so that no pay, mom pay, mamu. Na ye ye biye. Yeah, mom mom pay. Cause ye ye mom pay bo. Ye ye mi se ki biye o decision biye huwa. Ebe affect ye. Inti se o biye o ya sorry be biye man ye na se mnya. No mom pay. E o ma cancel meeting. Se e rade eni ye mpe ni mfone ni. Na o ma o ma kwa nchere. Dear Omo de Basie, and I said Omo de Babiano, a bad mass or not conning and only dear here. That if I say this year, and I was you, also Doctor Fred Codia, Yamisha, maybe a two years after we are so over Yamisha, Papa, was a man's other boy. It was therefore the guests, and you may Apostle Doctor Alfred Codia, former general secretary of the Church of Pentecost, now area head, Teshin on our area of the Church of Pentecost. Oh, that now this year's now very tired. Yes, no, I didn't but we are now a bachelor. Ten days. There was a point that was to be ready for me, Jimmy Dunkuna. And you may program no Yamia Dum, Yamia Dum crew, or Mutimi Eboy, my production be a solid than a kicky man. It's solid, solid, solid. Mr. Anson online, solid, solid, solid. I feel Ura, camera executive of Studio Hansel, or Nemi Age Medi, solid, solid, solid. Most of our shares are in Shroud. From JB Dunkin, I mean, I do my ever since where she and more days he could see young farm piebo and type of animal. She may be any successful, many are sorry because why any can see Radisha. Good evening.